Another example of calculating a dose with a mixture of units, our prescription says ampicillin 500 milligrams. The label says ampicillin 1 gram. We have to convert from the prescription's unit milligram to the label's unit, the dose on hand's unit, gram. So converting milligrams to grams, my conversion is 1,000 milligrams is equal to 1 gram. Therefore, 500 milligrams, the amount the prescription is asking for, is equal to an unknown number of grams. The first thing I'm going to do is cancel my units. Milligrams over milligrams cancels. And then cross multiplying, top times bottom equals bottom times top. 1000x equals 500 times 1. My answer will be in grams because it's the only unit that's left. Dividing both sides by 1000 to isolate my x, I get x is equal to 500 divided by 1000. Now I have to do a division. 500 divided by 1,000, my decimal is already in the right place here, so I'm putting a decimal here and right above, and then I'm putting a bunch of extra zeros. 1,000 does not fit into 5. 1,000 does not fit into 50, and 1,000 does not fit into 500. But 1,000 does fit into 5,000 five times, so I write a 5 here, 5 times 1,000 is 5,000, and when I do my subtraction, I get 0. That means I am finished. It means that 500 divided by 1,000 is equal to 0 0.5, or 0 0.5, and the unit was grams. Now I'm going to make room, and then I will calculate my dosage. Now it's time to calculate our dose. We have the formula dose ordered, that's the amount that we just calculated, over dose on hand, that's what it says on our label, times amount on hand. So we will fill it in, 0 0.5 grams dose ordered over 1 gram dose on hand times amount on hand, which is one tablet, The grams cancel, so our answer will be in tablets. The ones also cancel, so our answer is 0 0.5. We will pour 0 0.5 tabs for the patient. 